All right, good morning. So we're going to start um, like we do with this yoga boot camp by warming up the wrists because we're going to do some jumping around and some moving around and some time on the hands. We want to make sure the wrists are nice and warm. And um, I don't know when you're practicing this, but I'm practicing this at 6 a.m. and my wrists haven't done a whole lot yet this morning. So we're going to start by opening and closing the hands when we, or starting to warm up the back, the top of the arm. So instead of just like opening the hand, really think about reaching the fingers apart and pulling back and then closing, and then reaching apart and closing. Like as far apart as the fingers will go, and we'll do both hands at the same time, and we're just demoing with one. Just start to feel the Arms begin to warm up a little here. We get a lot of um, compression in the top of the wrist. Keep going. When we do things like uh, plank or push-ups, handstand work, if we warm that up and get fluids moving, we tend to do a little better. Less aches and pains. All right, bring them down. Woo! And then we'll come... Uh, we'll come on to into table position. We're going to come back into those uh, hand push-ups. Make sure you can see past all my drinks. I never drink it while I'm working out, but I always make a cup of tea. I don't really know why. And so coming into table position, middle fingers reaching forward. We'll lift the heel of the hand and bring it down. Lift and down. And so sometimes we get in this position and our body kind of sags. Really think about pulling the belly in and up, starting to Warm up the transverse abdominals as well. Those are the cincher muscles, uh, what I like to call the girdle, and the pull in. There's a few more here. And sit it back. Maybe do some wrist circles. And we'll open up the back of the wrist here, or I guess the top of the wrist, making a fist, pulling the hand in, grab on with the other side, the other hand, and pull the pinky finger towards the outside of the shoulder. It's just the angle the arm likes to go. We'll switch sides, make a fist, grab on, pull it in. And release. We'll come back to cat cow. And you have a choice. You can either keep your hands normal in cat cow or flip, uh, flip around just to get a stretch on the other side of the wrist. And we'll start to warm up the spine a little. Inhale as the belly drops down. Heart lifts. Tail lifts. Exhale as you press and round. Tuck the tail. Inhale. Open the heart. Arching the spine. Exhale. Rounding the spine. Inhale. Arch. Exhale, round. One more here. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. We'll come back to uh, center and table position. Press into the hands, round to the upper back, pull the belly in, and step the feet back and find plank. And we're going to hold here, so don't let the butt rise up too high. That's a totally an over-exaggeration there. But tuck the tail down, pull the belly in, and squeeze the legs towards each other. As we hold here for 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Plant the right hand down in the center of the mat. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. We're going to find side plank here. So you can be just in side plank stacked. You can bring a foot forward, a foot back behind. We're going to hold here. Maybe the top arm reaches up and over or straight to the sky. We have about eight more. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, woo, two, and one. Come back to plank here. Hold again for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You can always be on your knees. And one, sorry, like the very last one, where it roll to the left side. Woo, stack here, or use a foot for support. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to plank. Woo. And then let's walk the feet forward. Let's take a moment here. Bring the feet uh, relatively wide. Let the knees soften and the third page fall towards the thighs. And let's just open the back a little. Uh, really the back body. Maybe it's the hamstrings for you. Maybe it's the low back. Let the head release down. And let's just hold here for a few breaths. Release the hands down to the mat when you're ready and lengthen that to a flat back. Look forward. Soften the knees and rise all the way up to stand. So from here, we're going to come into um, so knee to the chest and lunges. So we've done this before. We pull the knee in, round, squeeze the belly in, and then we step the right foot back and lunge down and up and back. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And we'll switch sides, start with the knee into the chest, left knee comes in, and step it back for 10. Really squeeze the belly in, 9, pull here, 8. So it's the low belly that's pulling the knee into the chest. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back to center. Open the feet to mat with distance. And drop the hips down to find Malasana. Take a few breaths here. Interlace the fingers into what I like to call Charlie's Angels Mudra. We'll bring it right out in front of us. Press into the heel. Pull into the belly. Inhale. Exhale. Press and lift. Sort of like to a chair and then back down. Don't ever drop and hang. Stay engaged. Lift as you exhale. Inhale, lower for eight. This is eight, sorry. Seven. Woo, my legs are burning. Six. Five. I took a really hard class last night. Four. Three. Two. Keep pressing into heels. And one nice job. Woo, woo. <laughs> and from here, we're going to come down onto the mat. Um, into push-ups. So you can be on your knees or on your toes. You can also come up onto a piece of furniture that takes some of the pressure off. Actually, I'm going to try it with blocks. It just brings you a little higher. Whoop. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. From here, we're going to flip around 
hands come down. And we're coming to reverse plank, so legs can be straight. Inhale here, exhale, lift for 10. You can also bend your knees, nine, eight. Let the hips slide back a little, seven. Really press and extend here for six, five, four, three, two, and one. We'll flip around. We're going to come back to push-ups. This time we're going to, if it works for your shoulders, bring our hands together like this in diamonds. And you can be on your feet or on your knees. All the shoulder work I tend to be lower intensity because of my injury. We'll come for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. We'll flip back around for those reverse planks. Bring the hands back behind, legs straight out or knees bent. Press into the hands and lift up for 10, 9, 8. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Sorry about that. I was totally dry and couldn't talk anymore. From here, we're going to come up to stand, and you can use um, blocks under the hands, or you can use uh, a piece of furniture. That works. We're going to find warrior three. Left foot's going to come forward. Right leg's going to come to the air. So just find a classic warrior three position, toes down, belly pulls in and out. The difference is we're going to use our hands, uh, find a support for our hands because we're going to move. So we'll tap the right toes down and kick them to the sky for 10, 9, 8, squeeze the butt, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. So we'll bend the knee here like a flamingo. Pull the knees together. This is your inhale. Exhale, press the heels straight to the sky for ten, nine, eight. Keep squeezing the belly in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, switch sides, right foot comes down, left leg comes back behind, toes point down. Whew. Inhale, tap, up to the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring the knee in, find that flamingo position. Inhale here and exhale to the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it back down. Cool, oh, nice job. From here, we're going to add in a little, uh, let's do some jumping jacks. So hands can come up or hands can come out front for seal jacks. We'll start with the feet together. I need to start the timer. When you're ready, you can begin. Still going to get a minute from when I start the timer. And go. You can also take it low impact. Do 
10 more seconds that is and done nice job Ooh, grab a sip of water if you need one and after your drink we're gonna come to down dog so we've done this move before too it's called uh, scapula elevation or extension it's this move where we press into the hands we'll do this in down dog and we press away kind of sink back down and press away we're going to do it with both hands in down dog so let's just find our way to down dog Ooh, that's a nice calf stretch after jumping and so allow your head to sink down towards the ground a little and then press away it really is like a moving the neck away for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stay in down dog. <sighs> Take a breath here. We're going to move into what's called turbo dog. So we'll press into the hand. Let the elbows come to a hover and press back up. Elbows hover. Press back up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's come down here. Just give the shoulders a little break. We'll take a few breaths. We're going to do another round of that. So once you're ready to, coming back to down dog, exact same sequence, 10 of the scapular elevation, 10 of the really tricep work. Uh, so when you're ready, we'll press and extend for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Okay, ready? Turbo dog. Ten. Nine. If it's getting to be too much, you can bring the knees down. Just bring them back a little like you would maybe in plank. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Woo! Yikes. So we're going to come to stand, give the shoulders a little break, start with the left foot forward, right foot back, come into your high lunge position, hands can come to the hips, and we're going to pulse here, so your pulses might be little, or they might be deeper, doesn't matter, but we're going to pulse for 20, so 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, keep pressing into the front heel, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's switch sides. Right foot comes forward. Left foot steps back. Find your high lunge position first. That means press straight down through the front heel. Fire up the right butt. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, thank God. <laughs> cool All right. So we're going to come back down to the ground. Onto our forearms, interlace here into a forearm plank. And from forearm plank, we'll drop the hips to the right, center, left, center, right, left. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, 8, 7, come to the knees, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Let's take a child twist here. Open the knees, press the hips back. Just take a few deep breaths. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. We'll come back up to stand. We're going to move into my least favorite exercise uh, called tuck jumps. And so you can move through them fast or you can move through them slow. Basically, a tuck jump is that. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, pull in and tap. Some people just like to spring and keep going. That's cool. I'm not going to count. I'll count in my head. Ready? Go. That's seven for me. Last one. Nice job. Whew. Let's take a breath or two. I'm going to give you an option. We're going to do 10 more. You can either do those or you can do basically tuck jumps upside down, which would be uh, either Malasana hops to handstand or Shakti kicks. If you're breathing really heavy right now and having a rough time getting your heart rate down, I would stay upright. And you can always throw in some Shakti kicks after we end. So we know what Shakti kicks are. There's, there are these guys. It's essentially an upside down tuck jump. So we'll start when you're ready. You can also be here. 10, 9, 8, 7. Just keep moving. So count about 10 for yourself. This is a lower impact variation. Couple more here. Nice job. Whew. Now we get to come down onto the floor again. It's time for core. So we're gonna do some Pilates core work here. We'll come onto our back. Bring the knees to chair position, hands come to the outside. We're gonna come into single leg stretch. It looks like this, inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, switch. If you need head support, hands can be here. So start when you're ready. Keep pulling the belly down. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Hug all of this in and down. One more each side. If you don't get in a lot with these, come back to the chair. Hands come behind the head. This time coming into the crisscross, so we'll bring opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. So we're not tucking across, we're reaching across. The other leg will extend. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Keep pulling the belly down. It's easy to lose that core connection in a twist. Keep pulling, 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 hugging in, cinching in those uh, girdle, those center muscles, the transverse abdominals. One more each side. Come back to center. Hands come behind the head. Legs come straight to the sky. See if you can bring the ankle bones together. Squeeze the ankle bones together. Pull the belly down. 
press the low back into the mat and lift the legs, just the legs, like this much. Not a big, huge swing. Just a pull down. So let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six. Head, neck, and shoulders can be up if you'd like. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees to chair position, head, neck, and shoulders are up. Tap the toes here, inhale, exhale, elbows to knees and knees to elbows. Two more. And bring it down, hug the knees into the chest. Whew. Press the feet down into the mat. Bring the feet as close into the glutes as you can get them. Bring the hands down by our side, we'll press into the feet. Lift the hips up here, first just by stretching, first just stretching the belly muscles. Breathing into the belly here. And then we'll inhale, drop the hips to a hover so they barely touch. Exhale, press it back up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lift and hold. And slowly lower it back down. Hug the right knee into the chest. Cross the right ankle with the left knee or thigh. And then pull the left uh, knee towards the chest. And you can hold here or thread through. I like to just grab onto the right leg and the right foot. Be sure to evert the foot so you activate that outer hip. That means the pinky side edge presses away. It's the action we did with the legs up when I said bring the ankle bones together. Think about bringing your ankle bone closer to your face. Not by pulling it, by pressing it this way. As if you were squeezing it next to the other ankle bone. We'll slowly release that down. Left foot comes down. Right leg comes straight up to the sky. So maybe you grab on here behind the leg. Maybe you just hang out. Maybe you can reach the foot. And the left knee can be bent or the leg can be extended. It doesn't matter. Leg extended is more pull on the right hamstring. And we'll start to move that right leg out to the right. And slowly slide back up to center. Release the right foot. Draw the left knee into the chest. Give it a little squeeze. And then cross the left ankle onto the right leg, the knee or the thigh. Maybe even down at the um, hip if that's where your mobility is at. Cool. If not, no worries. You don't want to feel any knee pain here, though. So if you like put yourself in a position where you're feeling pain, uh, on in the knee, then back out, which would mean slide the foot out towards the knee further, or bring the right foot down. Because the knee tends to be a lot uh, more sensitive. It's not quite as stable as the other joint. So when the, when the muscles are on the hip, and then the legs are tight, and they pull on the knee, it can do uh, some damage in the knee, basically. So again, everting the foot in case you forgot. Trying to squeeze this ankle bone towards another ankle bone, pretending the other ankle bone's right there. Breathing 
Releasing the right foot down, left leg comes to the sky. Maybe clasping behind, maybe up the leg. Kind of playing around, see what happens when you point the toes versus when you flex them. And if you can get a hold of the foot when it's flexed, think about pressing into the hand, pressing into the heel, extending out the back of the leg a little bit more, just kind of stretching out the back of the knee a little. And then opening it towards the left if that works for you. And again, kicking into that hand with about 5% of your effort, or right now I've got, because of this, where, the space that I'm in, my left foot is actually, my left heel is on the wall. So as I'm here, I kick into that left heel just a little, like towards the wall, not straight out. And I can feel a little bit of engagement uh, in the muscles that are tight on me, which is the ham inner hamstrings and some of the groin muscles, also known as the adductors. We'll come back to center. We'll slowly come up to seated. Speaking of those lovely adductors, let's bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop out and take a little fold forward. Let's look at the adductors as well as uh, the low back. If you drop the chin towards the chest, it'll also target the upper back, maybe the neck, head, neck, and shoulders for you. And then in this position, let's walk the fingertips over, or the let's walk the right hand over to the left a little. Get a little longer through the right side. We did some oblique work today. It'll just give us a little uh, oblique stretch. So you're only going as far as you go. Oh, that feels nice. So if you work more out, you're going to get more through the oblique. If you work more over. You're going to feel it through the shoulder up here that we worked, we worked as well. So if you walk more towards the knee, but still say inside the knee. We'll find our way over to the other side, the left side. And we'll come back to center. Maybe take a little spine twist. And switching over to the other side. You can hold these as long as you'd like. And for those of you that are really uh, excited about adding in some shafty kicks or some handstand work, but you felt like your heart rate was too high, you got a little dizzy after those tuck jumps, so you decided to stay upright. Now might be a time. You can always throw handstand practice in at the end of one of these. The body's nice and warm, especially today. We did all of this work, and we did a lot of core engagement, which you definitely need in handstand. So that's all I have today. Thank you, guys. It was wonderful to see you on the mat. Namaste. Have a lovely day. Have a happy Thanksgiving.